Nearly every family was wagon building. Our parlor became a place in which to paint wagons, and almost every parlor in the neighborhood was put to some such similar use in general preparation for the winter exodus. So, the committee appointed to acquire information in regard to the outfitting of families for Emigration West submitted the following report. Each family consisting of five adults would require one good strong wagon, well covered, three yokes of oxen between the ages of four and ten years old, two or more cows, 1,000 pounds of flour, and good sacks to put it in, 100 pounds of sugar, 25 pounds of salt, one good musket or rifle to each man, uh, from 25 to about 100 pounds of farming or other tools, clothing and bedding not to exceed oh, 500 pounds, and from 10 to 50 pounds of seed to a family. Oh, cooking utensils, as few as would do. And, and two, two pounds, pounds of, of black, black pepper. pepper. It seems like a lot, but we know the journey will require some four to five months, being upwards of 2,000 miles. On the 9th of February, my husband took myself, our son of three and a half years, and our little girl of one and a half years, and we crossed the Mississippi River on ice and turned our faces towards the wilderness in which we were to seek out an abiding place. We left behind a comfortable home. The accumulation of four years of thrift and labor, taking with us only a few very much needed essentials and leaving everything else behind. My last act in that precious spot was to tidy the rooms, sweep the floors, and place the broom in its accustomed spot behind the door. And then, with emotions in my heart, which I do not now pen, and which I strove at the time with success to conceal, I gently closed the door and faced an unknown future. But I faced it with faith in God. So I stepped on that wagon with a certain degree of serenity. Bathsheba and George A. Smith.